What's up, guys? It's Rincey. I don't even have any plans right now. One thing not do. But happy first day of spring. I'm going to read this by myself after this cleanup day. I'm not sure if they're going to feed us or not. I have to go straight home. Um, and then I'm going to go get me some readers. I'm only doing this spring cleanup just to meet friends. I doubt that I'm even going to make any friends. Um, probably just going to be there for like 30 minutes. You know, because you know, I doubt I'm gonna make any friends there. Because who would want to be around me? I talk too much. Um, I don't know how to shut up like a human. I'm immature. disrespect so why would anyone want to be my friend I'm not even going to stay for long because I realized that nobody wants to be my friend because of the image I already have so anyway I'm getting it together I had this certificate that I'm gonna get um, in August. Even when I don't have the luxuries of life, like like a friend, I gotta feel proud of my proud of myself, you know, for getting this far. And I'm making an album, you know. Um, I already have a few songs of the album done. I kept going into a routine when these friends of mine, they told me I didn't have enough time to grow up so we could still be friends. Took it for a joke. Looked at them like they were a fool instead of taking it seriously. Now I don't have any friends. I mean, I got friends, really. I don't even know them. I don't even know Scary Skeleton like that. Um, I have Barbara 747 as a friend. I got Scary Skeleton. Oh, Alright, that's scary. I got Will and Nikina. Um, Valerie Bejo, maybe. And these people are from Chicago, and I'm here in New York. The routines. All the noise. Disrespect. Running my mouth. All the noise. All the constant talking. I get it. Charity begins at home. And spreads abroad. I get that shit. I don't have any friends now because the same way I acted at home, I mean, I was angry because, you know, I felt like I didn't have the luxuries of life. You know, I was ungrateful, I guess. I was spending too much time being angry. Now I don't have any friends. I mean, I have a friend. I have friends. They're just in Chicago. I'm in New York City. Now, I don't think these friends that I do have in Chicago, if they were here in the New York area and said, I don't think that they would be my friend either. So it's a good thing that we're friends from a distance. That they're, 
that they're in New York. I mean, that they're in Chicago and I'm in New York. Well, technically, New Jersey. Still, I did it. The way I acted at home, the same way I acted in public. And it scared the friends that I did have off. Scared them away. No, not really scared them away. Well, some I scared away made them uncomfortable. But I drove them away. I don't even drive. I guess when I finally get it together and stop all this disrespect and stuff, I finally stop and I get it together. Maybe that's when I'll have a friend again. Yes. Anyway, I'm getting free Italian night. Well, that's that's no longer a thing. Free Italian ice. I'm just gonna go with Rita's anyway. I did it last year. I went to Rita's. You know, I say it was canceled. After I say it was canceled. I just went to Rita's, you know. Because it's tradition. It's out of tradition. New Jersey tradition. Just like I'm about to do it today. I don't know if this third wave is coming to New Jersey and Florida or not, New York area, Chicago, Atlanta or not. But you gotta stay careful. Next time I get a friend. I gotta remember to be quiet. I gotta remember to be nice. And that's remembering to be quiet. Close your mouth means not another word. It means say not another thing. Be quiet. And that's one thing I neglected to do. Until I get it together mature I'll be without a friend I guess no friend no one is either bothered to say hey Clarence I'll be your friend I'm, I'm still hurting because I have no friends now Even when I have it together, I'm still going to wish that I'd close my mouth. I'm a singer, songwriter. Sometimes, never mind. No one's gonna wanna be my friend. Anyway, I have a little theory about these Auntie Nita um, characters. Roseanne, when she said, until you get your shit together, Brett, you'll be here. I think 
She's so mad at herself that she's the one that, and she knows that Brittany might be mad at her because of the the big mistake that she made. Well, Brittany is not a mistake. She is a miracle, baby. She is a miracle. She's 16, the same age her mother was when she had her. Brit Brittany's 16. Roseanne's 32. And she started getting her nails and her feet done. And everything she um, wants to do for Brittany, just to get her mind right off of the, um, the mistake. Even though I don't think that's going to help. It doesn't help. And as you can tell, Brittany's still angry. But you know what? Brittany needs to start forgiving her mother. Brittany needs to forgive her. And start respecting her. You know? I get it. And I think... The reason she had Brittany stay at Auntie's house um, that week is because I believe that Roseanne was going back to school. She quit her job to go back to school because, remember, she had her GED before she had Brittany. She had to drop out of college. She had to drop out of high school, get her GED, and, you know take care of Brittany. So, now that she's going to college, you know, I think, you know, I think that week that Brittany had to stay at Auntie's house for that whole time, I think it was just college orientation and whatnot. It was orientation. She wasn't taking her up for a whole week. And whoever this black dude that Britney, that Britney's pops might be, he was 40. He don't like Britney. They met when she was out running the streets. And she didn't listen to her parents. So she had to drop out of high school, get a GED, and have Britney at 16. But he needs to be there soon. I hope Britney one day looks for her pops. Whoever this black dude is. Um, yeah. But, um, yeah. I think, I think Roseanne left her job to go back to college and they could have stayed at home, but I bet you auntie got the best internet service in all of Cleveland or Detroit, wherever they are, you know? I think Roseanne is back to college, you know? I'm going back to college soon. Right now, Lincoln Tech, that's not really a real school. It's really a um, trans transitioning, you know, for, you know, really a job training thing, you know? As I said, I'm an artist. I do crayon box. But I'm gonna go, you know. I got some more UPN commercials for you. And other stuff, you know. So I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys later.